Hey everyone, welcome back. This is our final episode of D News Plus for this series on mosquitoes. I am Trace. So far we've talked about how they've changed history, how they work, why they suck our blood, why all the terrible and deadly diseases they carry are terrible and deadly, and how they carry them. We even talked about how we fight them using nature against the mosquitoes. It's awesome. Make sure you check out all of those episodes. Those are the first four in the series. But today, we're gonna find out what a world without mosquitoes would look like. I'm thinking paradise, but we're gonna find out. I just have to say, this joke that I made up, it's the best. What if I'm like, mosquitoes must quit those? What do you think, no, terrible? Let me know in the comments. So we know what damage the mosquitoes can do, and we've tried different methods to stop them or make them sterile using sprays and lasers and all sorts of stuff, but mosquitoes are still here, and they've been here longer than humans have, and some are just proposing we just kill them all. We just destroy the entire mosquito population of the planet and literally wipe them off the face of the earth, which brings up two questions. One, how the heck are we gonna do that? There are a lot of them. And two, what would happen if we did it? You know, what is the ramifications of this action? There are billions of mosquitoes on this planet. This would be speciside, specide. Basically, we're killing a whole species. Many, actually. And it's been tried before in the 1950s and 60s in Latin America. The Pan American Health Organization underwent an effort to eradicate the Aedes aegypti using large amounts of DDT. They cleaned up standing water containers because that's where mosquitoes would lay their eggs, and they sprayed DDT everywhere, and it worked, but they eventually returned after the efforts were halted, possibly hitching rides on ships coming from Africa or Asia. Current plans being talked about would take about 30 types of mosquitoes off the face of the planet. Not every mosquito, because there are 3,500 different types. But one way of doing that would be by genetic modification. Scientists at Oxford University teamed up with a biotechnology firm and genetically modified a male Aedes aegypti, the mosquito that carries Zika and dengue fever. They now carry a gene that stops their offspring from fully developing, meaning the second generation of offspring just won't be able to reproduce and spread the disease. It's kind of like a ticking time bomb inside of their genetic code. They modified 3,000 mosquitoes and they released them in the Cayman Islands. Yep, they released a genetically modified mosquito into the wild. This was in 2009 and 2010, and they found a 96% reduction in the mosquito population at that time. Another trial in Brazil saw a 92% decline in mosquito populations. Another plan would genetically modify male mosquitoes to kill the females when they mate. This sounds like, like, the movie The Purge, terrible. Another study published in Nature doesn't want to kill them all, but wants to stop them from doing the thing that we hate other than the biting and the itching, carrying malaria. They want to alter the mosquito's DNA so that they're not susceptible to carrying the malaria virus around, basically malaria-resistant mosquitoes. They are still around and they're still annoying, but they're not killing people, so that's, that's definitely a big bonus. Another plan is to alter them so that all the mosquito babies that are made are male. That would eventually cause a big problem for their population. They don't drink our blood, but they don't spread disease, and they also wouldn't mate with each other successfully. I don't know if they would otherwise. There are others who just want to step up the chemical game, the chemical warfare game that has worked in the past and they know how to handle mosquito populations with. Some are referring to this chemical game as the nuclear option. As we already talked about though, many of these pesticides that they are talking about using to decimate mosquito populations have side effects out in the natural world. They could be destructive to people, destructive to nature, and mosquitoes have been known to grow resistant to insecticides. The toxins that kill mosquitoes kill them, sure, but they also get into the water and food supplies that humans need, and of course into the air we breathe, which is not the best could also lead to non-mosquito insects dying as well, and that's because chemical sprays don't have targeted results. Not all insects are deadly pests. We do need some insects. You know, what if it kills bees? Who's going to pollinate the flowers? You? Me? No, thank you. I'd rather make podcasts. But if it means taking out malaria and Zika and yellow fever, is that worth it? It's not really up to us, is it? I don't know. So let's say we did it. We killed all the bad mosquitoes. What happens next? 
there would of course be a lot of negative repercussions. Mosquitoes feed mostly on plant nectar and they are important to the pollination process. You probably didn't know that, but since mosquitoes eat nectar and they spend a little time on this flower and then that flower, they're spreading pollen around and helping flowers breed with each other. Again, you gonna do that? I doubt it. Of course, you'd have this break in the food chain as well. Aside from pollinating plants, birds and bats eat mosquitoes. And things like fish and frogs eat the larvae of mosquitoes. One article in Nature references the huge swarms of mosquitoes in the Arctic tundra, and if those mosquitoes disappeared, experts think migratory birds would no longer go there, possibly by as much as 50% which means 50% fewer migrations. And of course, other scientists think that that might be an overreach, the birds might be fine, the bats might be okay, the frogs will find something else to eat. You know, bats eat mostly moths, so they'd be fine, and birds might just find another insect as well. But the thing is, even though they're not a huge part of the biomass for a lot of these animals, animals don't just go, ah, no mosquitoes in the fridge, guess I'll go to McDonald's. You know, if there's no food there, they don't think to go get another food they have to adapt or die. So they will probably just die because they won't be eating as much. They won't have as much energy. And over time, they will adapt and not have mosquitoes around, but we could cause something that we cannot control in terms of their population changing. The bottom line is that yes, ecosystems are gonna change. Uh, most places that mosquitoes exist, mosquitoes are actually invasive species. So many feel confident that the ecosystem would be fine. It's adjusted for them being there, it's gonna adjust back to them not being there. But it's hard to say, in fact, it's impossible to say because there are so many moving parts. There are a lot of people that think having mosquitoes around is actually a good thing. They keep humans in check. One science writer thinks that the annoying and deadly mosquito has slowed down man's destruction of places like the rainforest. It's sort of keeping us out of there because we don't wanna get bit when we don't get malaria. And though I seem like I'm pretty hard against killing all the mosquitoes and then for them and then against them again, I'm really just presenting all the facts because killing them might have a positive economic aspect to a lot of different nations. Some sub-Saharan African countries spend 1.3% of their GDP treating malaria. Just killing off mosquitoes would lighten that burden off of their health systems and their economies. I mean, there are nations that only spend 2% of their GDP on their entire military. And these countries have to spend 1.3% of it treating malaria. In places like Florida, some think it would bring in more tourist dollars because the threat of Zika virus would be minimized. Uh, and that's messing with tourist industries in Central and South America, as well as up here in North America, predominantly via cruise ships. Since the outbreaks, Norwegian cruise line stock has fallen by over 7% and Carnival by 6% just because Zika virus, which is a mosquito-borne disease. Also, mosquitoes affect agriculture or industries that are outdoors, you know, crop fields, orchards, marinas, those people have to deal with mosquitoes. But coming back to it, there's a philosophical argument against this, isn't there? Should we take all of these insects and remove them from the population just because it would be better for us? It wouldn't be better for the fish and for the frogs and for the bats and for all of these other animals, migratory birds that eat these mosquitoes, even if it's just a small part of their diet, it wouldn't be better for them at least not for the foreseeable future. It would just be better for us humans. Are there other less drastic measures? Sure. Scientists agree though that we don't know 100% of what's gonna happen. Is that a risk that we're willing to take? For now, we're trying our hardest just to manage mosquitoes. Killing the ones we can, tracking ones that we can't kill, cleaning up stagnant water, educating the world on mosquito safety, wearing long sleeves, you know, mosquito nets, using citronella if that works for you. But maybe one day we'll just set up a little thing over there and it'll shoot lasers at all the mosquitoes in the area. It'd be crazy, right? Just follow the mosquito control recommendations for your area and you should be okay. What do you guys think though? Do you think it's up to us to protect the world from this terrible invader, keep the world safe? Or should we just kind of let bygones be bygones? We don't want to quit mosquitoes after all. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Make sure you keep coming back here for more DNews Plus. Hope you enjoyed this series. Let us know if you have any ideas for future series down in the comments. Make sure they're big ideas, guys. These are gonna be huge things. They gotta do five episodes and a whole week on it with me and producer Brian and producer Blair. It's a big deal. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on DNews Plus.